Michael Jordan. Hello, fellow students, teachers, and staff at Eagle School. I'm from 4B. My name is Michael Jordan. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. He's the guy I'm going to talk about. My name is Albert. Today, my speech is about Air Jordan. Let me ask you a few questions. First, do you believe a person can jump about 55 inches? And can a person slam dunk from the free throw line? I know it sounds impossible and crazy, but Michael Jordan is the guy who can do these things. Believe it or not, I will tell you a story about a boy whose dream came true, making it to the NBA. A boy, his friends, were playing in the basketball court. Shoot the ball, the boy's friend shouted. Yeah, let me show you what I have, the boy said, excited. Every time the boy stood on the basketball court, he was always proving himself. His dream is to become the most valuable player in the world. The only way to become the best is to get into a good college. This dream makes him practice basketball very hard. Actually, he was kind of a strange boy. Sometimes he would shoot 1,000 balls in a day. He would put some candies in a pocket for his meals. When he feels tired, he would sleep in the basketball court. The next day, he would get up and go to school with his basketball in hand. When he was in high school, he tried out for the basketball team. The coach knew he was a good player, but Michael had a problem. He, he's too short. So the coach put him in a second level team. From that day on, he started to practice harder and harder. Every day he told himself, never give up. In 1976, he graduated from school. He grew to six feet, six inches. That was a dream come true for him. In 1980, North Carolina University wanted him for their basketball team. All his hard work had paid off. First year in college, the coach didn't give much time for him to play. But in the second, this all changed. He got lots of time to play, and he looked like the team's leader on the court. In 1984, the Chicago Bulls chose him in the first round, fourth place. At that time, the Bulls were the worst team in the NBA. When Jordan came, it was the answer to their players. He knew he was the leader. In 1988, the time had come, the Chicago Bulls won the NBA championship. When Jordan held up his first NBA trophy, he cried. He was so happy. In Jordan's whole life, he won six NBA championships and he was named MVP five times. He was also invited to the NBA All-Star Game 14 times. The USA Olympic Dream Team also picked Jordan to join their team. At last, they easily won the World Championships. From the start, you can understand why Jordan is the greatest player. Every time I see him in the games, I see power in his eyes. He knew he was the best, and no one could beat him. One of his fans asked him a question. Hey, Mike, why can you play so well? Jordan answered, because I play every game like my last game. That means I do my best in every single game. To me, Jordan is the best player forever. I try to imitate his every move. My dream is to come and become an NBA player too. I know this is a big challenge, but I'll do my best because I wish to be like Mike.